welcome students in the previous class we studied about the polynomials the degree of polynomial the number of terms what are the cons coefficients all these things we learned about polynomial and we knew that polynomial is an algebraic expression in which the variable always carry an exponent which is always non negative integer now in this session we will study about the zeros of polynomial what do you mean by zeros of polynomial to know this we have to discuss some other things let's see to find the value of polynomial for a given value of the variable we have to learn this next to find the value of the variable for which the value of the polynomial is zero now let's see what is this you see this is a machine in which we put something some process is going on inside it and after that some output is coming out the evaluation of a polynomial is just like a machine if we put the value of x then in the polynomial the calculations are done that is the process and after that we will get a final value which is called the value of the polynomial px now let's see how to do it here a polynomial is given px is equal to 2x square minus 5x plus 1 as discussed before we have to put some value of x then we have to do some calculations that is under process and after that we will get a result that that comes under value of px let's look at x equal to 1 if we put x equal to 1 what can you say here px is equal to 2x square minus 5x plus 1 if we put x is equal to 1 we can write this as p1 so for that we can say what we uh, here we have done that replace amount of x as 1 so here in right side also we have to replace x by 1 so here it is 1 square minus 5 into 1 plus 1 what is it 2 into 1 square here it is 2 minus 5 into 1 minus 5 plus 1 so what is the result 2 minus 5 minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 so see in this table we have also done this same thing so the result is p1 is equal to minus 2 let take the value of x as minus 1 then what happens see 2 into minus 1 square minus 5 into minus 1 plus 1 what is the value now you see here in place of 1 if we replace 1 by minus 1 that means value of x taken as minus 1 Minus one square is one. One into two is two. Then minus five into minus one is plus five. Plus one, so two plus five seven plus one. So this become eight. So for value of x as minus one, the 
value of the polynomial is 8. Now, what is the value of polynomial for x is equal to 2? Just replace the same thing. Then, how to write the polynomial here? The polynomial here is written as p2. So, 2 into, in place of x, we can write 2, 2 square minus 5 into 2 plus 1. So, 2 into 2 square is 8 minus 5 into 2 is 10 plus 1, that is minus 1. You see here, minus 1, value of polynomial for uh, x equal to 2 is minus 1. Similarly, for x is equal to 0, 2 into 0 will be 0, 5 into 0 is 0, and the rest is 1. So, p0 is 1. So, in all these cases, we can find the value of the polynomial for different values of x. Now, see, evaluate this polynomial at two different points, that is, for different values of t. Qt here, it is written. Here, I can say that we not only use always px, but we can also some other letters to represent the polynomial. Here, as it is written, Qt is equal to t to the power 4 minus t to the power 3 plus t square minus t plus 1. Here, this is a polynomial in t. Now, how to evaluate? See, for q is equal to 1, what to do? In place of t, just replace 1. So, t to the power 4, here it is 1 to the power 4. Minus t to the power 3, here it is minus 1 to the power 3. Plus t square, here it is plus 1 square. And minus t, here it is minus 1. And plus 1 is there, so 1 is also there. Now you know, the power of 1 is always 1, whatever be its exponent. So, 1, all this, in all these cases, we have the value 1. So, this is simply 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. So, 1 minus 1 and 1 minus 1 cancelled out and the result is 1. So, Q1 is 1 here. Now, what next? We have to find the value of t at minus 1. Value of polynomial at t equal to minus 1. So, replace t by minus 1. What do you see? Minus 1 to the power 4 minus minus 1 to the power 3 plus minus 1 square minus minus 1 plus 1. As the power of minus 1 is even, its value is 1. And if the power of minus 1 is odd, its value is minus 1. So, just calculate the first term is 1, the second term is minus 1. So, minus of minus 1, you see, minus 1 to the power 4 minus minus 1 to the power 3 plus minus 1 to the power 2 minus minus 1 plus 1. Here, the value is plus 1. Here, minus of, yet here the value is minus 1. And in this case, plus minus 1 whole square, this is plus 1. This is minus of minus 1 plus 1. Now, here, it is minus of minus 1 is plus 1 plus 1. 
Here again minus of minus 1, that is plus 1, plus 1. So, sum is 5. Let's see another example. The example is Ry is equal to 5 y to the power 3 minus 3 y square plus 4 y plus 1 at y is equal to minus 1 and y equal to 0. We have to evaluate this polynomial. Now you see here the polynomial is expressed as R y. That means we can use R also to denote a polynomial as we used qx and px. Now you see for the value of y minus 1 what will be the value of the polynomial ry. Now you see at y equal to minus 1 we can write r minus 1. So this becomes just we have to replace minus 1 in place of y. So 5 minus 1 to the power 3 minus 3 into minus 1 to the power 2 plus 4 into minus 1 plus 1. And as we know the odd number odd exponent of minus 1 is gives value minus 1. So 5 into minus 1 minus 3 into and minus 1 square is plus 1 plus 4 into minus 1 plus 1. So 5 into minus 1 is minus 5 minus 3 into 1 is minus 3 plus 4 into minus 1 is minus 4 plus 1. So minus 3 minus 5 minus 8 minus 8 minus 4 minus 12 minus 12 plus 1 gives minus 11. So value of this polynomial at minus 1 is minus 11. Let's see, let's evaluate it for the value of y at 0, r 0. For r0, you see all the y terms except the constant term 1, all other become 0. So the value will be 1. Now let's see a polynomial px which is x minus 1 at x equal to 1. So again you see we can write this as p1 in place of x if we write 1 so this becomes 1 minus 1 which is 0. So here for p for x is equal to 1 the value of polynomial is 0. So we can call that 1 is the 0 of polynomial px. One is also, if we uh, look at this, x minus 1 equal to 0. If we evaluate this, if we solve this, what will be the value of x? The value of x is 1. So 1 is called 0 of polynomial px and it is also root of the equation x minus 1 equal to 0. And what is x minus 1? x minus 1 is the polynomial px. So we can say that 1 is root of the equation px equal to 0. Now see another example. Here evaluate qx is equal to x plus 2 at x equal to 2 and x equal to minus 2. If we put the value of x as 2, what happens? It becomes 2 plus 2, that is 4. 
but if we put the value of x as minus 2 then what happens it becomes minus 2 plus 2 its value becomes 0. Now you can say what is minus 2 what can we call about minus 2 as the value of qx becomes 0 for the value of x as minus 2 we can say that minus 2 is the 0 of the polynomial qx but at 2 it is not 0 so it is not 0 of polynomial so 2 is not the 0 of polynomial but minus 2 is 0 of this polynomial again if you see then minus 2 is also root of the equation x plus 2 what is x plus 2 x plus 2 is our polynomial so we can say that minus 2 is the root of equation qx is equal to 0 our equation is qx is equal to 0 now the 0 of polynomial px is the root of the equation px equal to 0 as from these two uh, examples we conclude how to find the 0 of the given polynomial then this is the simply simple way if we solve the equation px equal to 0 whatever the value we get that of x is the 0 of that polynomial now find the 0 of polynomial px is equal to 2x plus 3 in last two examples the questions were very simple and it based on integers and it was very easy to find out the 0 of the polynomials by substituting some integers but in this case it is not possible but we have given a clue before this uh, line that the 0 of the polynomial px is the root of the equation px equal to 0 so to find out the 0 of the polynomial px equal to 2x plus 3 we have to find the root of the equation 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 now let's solve it 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 this implies 2x is equal to minus 3 now what is x x is equal to minus 3 by 2 so as this is the root of the polynomial the uh, equation 2x plus 3 equal to 0 so this is also the 0 of the polynomial px so x equal to minus 3 by 2 is 0 of polynomial px let's check it or verify it whether x equal to minus 3 by 2 is polynomial of 2x uh, is uh, 0 of 2x plus 3 or not as 2x plus 3 is our polynomial find the value at minus 3 by 2 so 2 into minus 3 by 2 plus 3 here you see 2 and 2 cancelled what do we get we get minus 3 plus 3 this is equal to 0 clearly we see that minus 3 by 2 is the 0 of the given polynomial now as earlier we discussed the example all the examples are of the polynomial of degree 1 so in this case the general form of the uh, polynomial of degree 1 is ax plus b then how to find the 0 of the polynomial we know the equation if you solve the equation x plus b equal to 0 then we can find the 
zero of this polynomial and this gives x is equal to minus b by a is there any other value of x for which this x plus b will become zero no as this is a linear polynomial it has one and only one zero possible so every linear polynomial has one and only one zero now let's take a constant polynomial here px is equal to 5 can you find the zero of this polynomial if you put the value whatever you value uh, put the value the value will always be 5 it can never be zero so we can say the zero degree polynomial or constant polynomials cannot have any zero so we can write a constant monomial has no zeros now take another example find the zeros of polynomial px is equal to x square minus 3x as you see all the terms contains x if we put the value of x as 0 each term will become 0 so we can say that p0 is a 0 of the polynomial but what about the other polynomial a other 0 if any now here it is written p3 equal to 0 is it true is polynomial the value of polynomial 0 at 3 let's see px is equal to x square minus 3x so p3 is equal to 3 square minus 3 into 3 so this is 9 minus 9 0 so the value of the polynomial is also 0 at x is equal to 3 so here we have two zeros of the polynomial now see this is a quadratic polynomial we have two zeros and we know that as the polynomial is of degree 2 and is called quadratic polynomial it has two roots now take another example of quadratic equation x square minus 4 here x square minus 4 equal to 0 as we know that if we solve the equation then we get the 0 if we solve the equation px equal to 0 then we can get the 0 of the polynomial here the px is x square minus 4 so let px equal to 0 or x square minus 4 equal to 0 this gives x square is equal to 4 so for which values of x its square is 4 this shows x is 2 or x is minus 2 now when we solve it we get the roots of this equation are 2 and minus 2 now if you replace this you can also verify this by taking the value of x as 2 this becomes 2 square minus 4 that is 4 minus 4 equal to 0 and if we take p minus 2 here also we have minus 2 square minus 4 that is 4 minus 4 square of minus 2 is 4 so 4 minus 4 equal to 0 this clearly shows that this polynomial x square minus 4 has two real roots 
टू रियल जीरो जीरोज एंड द इक्वेशन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर इक्वल टू जीरो हैज टू इक्वल रूट्स सो वी कैन से दैट बाय टेकिंग टू एग्जांपल्स वी सॉ दैट ए क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलिनोमियल हैज टू जीरोज इज इट ऑलवेज ट्रू लेट्स सी एनदर क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलिनोमियल इन दिस केस द कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म इज टू एंड डिग्री ऑफ पोलोमियल इज टू एज अर्लियर वी नो इफ द डिग्री ऑफ पोलोमियल इज टू वी कैन हैव टू जीरोज सो वी एक्सपेक्ट हियर टू जीरोज वी कैन ट्राई टू नंबर्स हुज प्रोडक्ट इज टू एज वी नो द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू नंबर इज टू वन इज टू अनदर इज वन और वन इज माइनस टू एंड अनदर इज माइनस वन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस टू इज वन सॉरी द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस टू इज टू एंड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस टू इज ऑल्सो टू ना लेट्स ट्राई विथ वन पी वन बिकम्स वन स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री इंटू वन प्लस टू दैट गिव्स जीरो सो वन इज ए जीरो of this polynomial now see if one is one gives the zero then we have to try with two so two square minus 3 into 2 plus 2 this gives 4 minus 6 plus 2 that gives zero clearly it shows that this polynomial has two zeros one is one and the second one is two so from this all these discussions we conclude that a zero of a polynomial need not be zero and zero of polynomial can also be zero as we saw every linear polynomial has one and only one zero and a polynomial can have मोर दैन वन जीरोज एज इन केस अफ क्वाडाटिक पोलोमियाल वी स टू जीरोज एंड ए कन्स्टाट मोनोमियाल हेज नो जीरोज ना लेट्स सी सम क्विक लुक एट दि एक्जापल्स फाइंड दि वैल्यू अफ पी एक्स ह्वेर पी एक्स इज इक्वाल टू रुट टू एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस एक्स एट एक्स इक्वाल टू टू रूट टू इंटू एक्स स्क्वेर सो पी टू इज इक्वल टू रूट टू इंटू टू स्क्वेर माइनस टू दैट गिवस फोर रूट टू माइनस टू नेक्स्ट अनादर एग्जाम्पल अनादर क्वेश्चन इवालुएट द वैल्यू of px equal to 2x minus 7 for which it is 0 as we know px is equal to 2x minus 7 and for which value it is 0 means to find the zero of this polynomial and to find the zero of this polynomial we have to solve the equation 2x minus 7 is equal to 0 this gives 2x is equal to 7 and x is equal to 7 by 2 so 7 by 2 the value of x is 7 by 2 for which px is equal to 2x minus 7 is 0 now students we learnt about how to find the value of polynomial at different points means for different values of the variable and also we learned how to find the zeros of the polynomial now this is the time to leave thank you